Stuff like that. Well, can you explain a little bit about the organization you're here with? Well, the organization, PSL, stands for the Survival, Well-Being, Independence of the Southern People. That's, by all honorable means, we protect us. That is what we stand for. Okay. I also was pointed out that uh, this sign, which I believe is the kick flag, correct? Which I have no I, I learned that today, actually, yeah. All right, and they were apparently that is a KKK flag, according to one person here. Well, I learned, I learned that it's a um, Pepe flag today, so, so I would yeah. ask him. Uh, all right. So would you say that you are a white supremacist then? I mean, what's, what's your definition of white supremacist? I mean, like, do I want to protect I guess uh, I think what a lot of definition is is that you believe that the white race is superior and should be rule over the rest. Uh, I mean, that's not a specific thing. We should rule over our own. I mean, I mean simply, you know, okay. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. All right. Sir. Yes, sir. Now that is a keck flag, correct? This is a keck flag. Yes, it All is. Right. Keck. Now I was told by I was told by uh, one okay. guy here who's with Antifa that that is a KKK flag. Let me. Uh, what? Oh, right, here. Just kind of stand back so I can get a good shot of it. There we go. Keck flag. Explain to them what Kekistan is. Wow, that's a long... Oh, that's, you're, you're if we, if we can short right, it so, to like 30 seconds, okay, let's see. Kekistan is like an online community of displaced peoples on the internet. Yeah. And it's an online community of trolls that do it for their deity, Kek. And they're also racist. And bigoted. They're probably not. And they're Nazis. And wait, what? <laughs> they're total Nazis. They're total Nazis. Like, <laughs> that's like, that's like, okay. That's like, that's like, now, are we supposed to take that seriously, or with the prerequisite of what you said is a bunch of online trolls? Well, maybe. Okay. And it's very thin conversation, by the way. Thank you. Antifa has not, not behaved completely 100% in ways that I would agree with, you know, but I'm my own but in a lo and You are, but by being part of that organization, by the same judgment, you are condoning a lot of the Antifa violence. Like, I, I, I take no association only, only with these counter-violence with violence. The only crazy. violence that I've ever seen or that I would ever participate in is going to be in a complete... Violence says it's unleashed by that side first. Now, this I've is. I've never fucking gone into battle by just throwing my fists and D batteries. Then, uh, can I make a suggestion that is not something to uh, push on you, but basically, will you, uh, will you look into some of the stuff that happened at Berkeley and then maybe reevaluate some of your associations with them? Because I, I can I tell you from my per that. personal experience, Antifa is a very, very negative and violent uh, group. And from what you're saying, where I'm asking you whether you condone it or not, and you're not giving a straight yes, but at the same time you're saying every example, you're saying, well, I don't agree with that. I would say that maybe you should look it up and see if you can reevaluate. Re Sometimes your this level of hatred requires an almost equal level of force to counter it. Who else is going to do it? I mean, what is, so far, Antifa and other groups of people will get together and counter these people in a less offensive nature, then that would be great. But unfortunately, anti-racist action and anti-fascist actions are the only people that seem to be out the front lines countering this level Race of hatred. Alright, well thank you very much for your conversation. And look into it, because it does disturb me just a little bit, the association with